Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you summing, scaling and averaging using operational amplifier. See operational amplifier that one can use in three different configurations. We can use operational amplifier in inverting, non-inverting and differential configuration. In this video, I'll explain you summing, scaling and averaging using inverting configuration as well as I'll explain you summing and averaging using non-inverting configuration. Using differential configuration, we can perform summing and subtraction, but this is what I'm not going to cover in this video. In this video, I'll cover summing, scaling and averaging using inverting and summing and averaging using non-inverting configuration. First of all, one should know what is inverting configuration. See, in inverting configuration, input is given to inverting terminal means negative terminal and non-inverting terminal that is ground. So your output voltage that will be negative. Why it is negative? The reason is input is given to inverting terminal. So output is negative into differential gain AD into input V in. If you talk about non-inverting configuration in that input is given to non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal that is ground. So what is my output? My output is positive. Why it is positive? The reason is input is given to positive terminal or one can say input is given to non-inverting terminal. And output will be differential gain into V in. In differential configuration, input is given to inverting and non-inverting both terminals. So what is my output? My output is differential gain AD into V in plus minus V in minus. So my output is differential of input, right? That is how three different configurations are there. Now I'm going to explain you summing, scaling and averaging using inverting configuration. To have summing, scaling and averaging using inverting configuration, I'll consider negative feedback over here. So you see, we have negative feedback with the use of RF resistance and we have inverting configuration. Inverting configuration means input V1, V2 and V3 that we give it to negative terminal over here. So we have negative feedback with inverting configuration using V1, V2 and V3. To have summing, averaging and scaling, first we need to derive output equation. So to have output equation, first of all, you need to know few basics that I have already covered in my earlier videos of lecture series of analog electronics. See here, this plus terminal that is connected with ground. So voltage at this terminal that is zero volt. So as voltage over here is zero volt at this terminal, voltage will be zero volt. Why voltage is zero over here? The reason is we have negative feedback. So in negative feedback, we have virtual ground concept. So if you have negative feedback, then voltage at this terminal and voltage at this terminal is equal. So as this terminal is ground, here also voltage is zero, right? So at this terminal, voltage is zero. You should know one more basic. See, with operational amplifier, input resistance that is very high. As input resistance is very high, you can say current going inside with this terminal, if I say that is IB, so that is almost zero. Practically it is not zero, but it is negligible compared to other currents. Now to derive output equation, let us assume because of V1, current over here that is I1, because of V2, current over here is I2, and because of V3, current over here, that is I3. And through RF, let us say current over here, that is IF. And let us say this terminal is node A. So what I'll be doing is, I'll be applying KCL at node A. So if you apply KCL at node A, then entering current, that is equals to leaving current. So entering current is I1, I2 and I3. So you can say I1 plus I2 plus I3 that is equals to leaving current that is IF. Now what is I1? 
see i1 that is happening in this direction so i1 that is v1 minus 0 divided by r1 that is v1 by r1 what is i2 that is v2 minus 0 divided by r2 so that is v2 by r2 what is i3 that is v3 minus 0 divided by r3 so that is v3 divided by r3 what is if if is happening in this direction so that is voltage at this terminal that is 0 minus voltage at this terminal that is v out so 0 minus v out divided by rf that is if so that is minus v out by rf now we can take v out as a major term so here what is v out v out is negative you see this negative sign into now rf that i am doing cross multiplication over here so you will be having rf by r1 into v1 plus rf by r2 into v2 plus rf by r3 into v3 so that is the basic v out equation for this basic circuit now using this equation i'll explain you how we can have summing averaging and scaling let us try to understand how we can have summing so for summing what we'll be doing is we will be going to consider we will be going to consider values of rf r1 r2 and r3 so let us assume let us assume rf is equals to r1 is equals to r2 is equals to r3 so what will happen so in that situation in that situation this v out that will be negative of you see rf by r1 rf by r2 and rf by r3 that is getting cancelled so v out is v1 plus v2 plus v3 into minus right so what is this output this output that is output of summing right that is output of summing so that is how we can have summing now let us try to understand averaging so for averaging let me take this equation on another page so let us assume value of rf r1 and r2 so if i say if i say rf that is equals to r1 divided by 3 rf is equals to r2 divided by 3 and if i say rf is equals to r3 divided by 3 then what will happen here then my output that will be you see minus of rf by r1 that is 1 by 3 rf by r2 that is 1 by 3 and rf by r3 that is 1 by 3 so you can say v1 plus v2 plus v3 divided by 3 so what is this this is averaging right now let me explain you third case that is scaling so for scaling let us assume value of rf r1 and r2 now you see if i say rf that is not equal to r1 that is not equal to r2 that is not equal to r3 so in that situation in that situation what is my output my output that is this only right so in this output see my output that is getting scaled by the value of rf by r1 with respect to v1 output is getting scaled by rf by r2 with respect to v2 and output is getting scaled by rf by r3 with respect to v3 so this is scaling so here our output is getting scaled with respect to values of rf by r1 rf by r2 and rf by r3 with different inputs v1 v2 and v3 right now i am going to explain you second situation using non inverting terminal where i will explain you summing and averaging to have summing and averaging using non inverting configuration i will explain you that with negative feedback so here you can observe we have negative feedback with the use of rf resistance and if you observe here 
non-inverted configuration is there means input v1 v2 v3 that we give it to non-inverting terminal so v1 v2 v3 that we give it to positive terminal here what is my output output is based on potential at this node if i say potential over here is v dash then based on v dash we can have output in my earlier videos i have explained you non-inverting configuration using negative feedback based on that what is my output my output is my output is gain of non-inverting configuration with negative feedback that is 1 plus rf by r1 into voltage at this node voltage at this node is v dash right so we need to find voltage v dash to get v out equation and based on v out equation we can have summing and averaging case so how to have v dash let me explain you that so for that let me redraw this circuit over here so here we have this circuit you see that is same circuit and here we have voltage v dash right at this node we have voltage v dash so what is voltage v dash so that one can have that one can have based on superposition theorem let me explain you how see v dash v dash if you want to calculate because of v1 then you will have to ground v2 and v3 so let us ground v2 and v3 to get v dash because of v1 right so here v dash because of v1 that is v1 into this resistance this is r parallel r resistance so that is r by 2 divided by this two resistance addition that is r plus r by 2 so voltage due to v1 at v dash that is v1 into r by 2 divided by r plus r by 2 right similarly if you wanted to have voltage at v dash due to v2 at that time you will have to ground v1 and v3 so that will be how much v2 into r by 2 divided by r plus r by 2 and due to v3 it will be r by 2 divided by r plus r by 2 so v dash is how much you see v1 into r by 2 divided by 3 r by 2 means v1 by 3 this is v2 by 3 and this is v3 by 3 so you can say v dash is v1 plus v2 plus v3 divided by 3 right so now we got the value of v dash that is v1 plus v2 plus v3 divided by 3 right and we know what is v out v out is 1 plus rf by r1 into v dash so here what i'll do is i'll substitute v dash in this equation so i'll be having v out equation right see this is my output equation and we wanted to have summing and averaging right now if you observe this equation carefully so this equation is equation of averaging only see v1 plus v2 plus v3 by 3 so that is average of v1 v2 v3 with the gain of 1 plus rf by r1 right so you can say above equation above equation is average with gain with gain 1 plus rf by r1 right now how to have how to have summing so to have summing what we need to do we need to assume value of rf and r1 such that we can have cancellation of this three with this right so what i'll do is now i'll consider now i'll consider value of rf that is equals to 2 r1 if i consider this then what is my output in that situation my output v out now that will be you see 1 plus if rf is equals to 2 r1 then here 1 plus 2 that will be there into v1 plus v2 plus v3 divided by 3 so this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled and your v out that will be v1 plus v2 plus v3 right so you can clearly say your output is v1 plus v2 plus v3 that is summation right 
So summation will happen as if you have RF is equals to 2R1, right? So that is how we can have summing, averaging and scaling with two different configurations. I have explained you both in this video, you can observe. So here you need to be careful when you draw circuit and you need to be careful when you write equations. Otherwise things are very simple. Just do some practice. You will be having proper understanding if you watch the videos in sequence with this playlist of analog electronics. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.